do 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 go on and fuck off wonga do 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 not lend it anymore come on do 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 Welcome to British Rationals, in a week when... Payday loan company Wonga went into administration due to a flood of compensation claims. At one point, they were charging an APR of over 2,000%. Still, I prefer that to being kneecapped in my own living room by the local loan shark. I told my landlord I will be late with the rent because I needed to get a loan, and he told me to go to Wonga. I told him I'd rather do prostitution. His eyes lit up. I, I, I moved out as quick as I could, and I didn't even bother to get the deposit back. I've never understood the concept of payday loans. Payday is the only day you don't need a loan. Wonga, that's a hideous form of penury. Um, student debt, that's a progressive form of it. On the, other hand, on the one hand, you're drawn into eternal damnation, financially speaking, and on the other, you pay my salary. University lecturers, after all, need food too. I say if you can't afford it, don't buy it. That's what I tell my kids. And none of them f don't own anything. I've, I've seen plenty of my pals on the bones of their arse. Lads have had no education, no prospects, no hopes. They left school at 15 and haven't worked a day since. But even them lazy pricks know that 2,000% interest is a f***ing joke. My friends say that I must get my money from the bank of mum and dad. So I try to sign up. But I can't find a branch anywhere. Parents breathe a sigh of relief this week thanks to the resumption of free childcare as the nation's kids return to school after the summer holidays. Teachers, meanwhile, rejoiced as they head back to their true calling and passion, not being listened to. I loved school. My one wasn't like those rough ones they show on TV, though. What was that programme called? Educating the North. Well, good on them for trying. I used to love going back to school. Every year without fail, always a smile on my face. Till last year when they changed the locks. Took until then to realise how much was going missing. <laughs> ah, yes, uh, algebra, photosynthesis and many other things that are of no practical relevance to the modern world. On the other hand, the course I'm teaching, Marxist themes in 90s American teen comedies, shows us how the world really works. I've been getting tired of seeing so many kids around in London. The tube isn't for bright-eyed, excitable children. It's for adults, dead-eyed adults who had given up all their hope. Back a day and the school have already been on the phone. Problems at dinner time. I thought, fighting. But no, the fat one insists on using two forks. A major study this week revealed that four out of five people's heart age was older than their actual age, increasing the risk of a variety of health problems. To quote Billy Ray Cyrus, don't tell my heart, my achy, breaky heart, I just don't think it understand. Because it's a muscle, and very old. Too many people worry about their health. Worrying is not good for you. Neither is a heart attack, I suppose, but at least it will be a surprise. I have a weak heart, and any loud noises might kill me. At least that's what I tell the kids. My heart is just the way it's always been, that of a carefree and fun-loving 20-year-old. Such a shame about the rest of me. Oh. Having an old heart sounds so romantic, doesn't it? It does mean they're going to die young, but that's the romance. I take after my granddad. He had the heart of a lion. And a lifetime ban from the zoo. <laughs> Only joking! Hey, what's next? Go on, go on, go. Do-do-do, not lend it anymore. Hey, do-do-do, go on a f*** of Wonga. Do-do-do, not lend it anymore.